The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Buck Rail Air Gun Accessories, and Baker Air Guns. You'll find links to these and more in the description down below. All right, I'm down here at the range. You might recognize this. This is the Umarex Notos, but it is tricked out with the buck rail system. Now, before I show you how it actually works, let's go ahead. I'm going to go take you back to the shop earlier today. I was putting this thing together, and I want you to watch that just so you can see how easily this system goes together. And hopefully by the video, you'll be able to tell how nicely it is all built and ready to go for you. All right, in the shop we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the pieces and parts that Buck Rail System comes with. Lots of little options there. We'll get to all of those uh, here in just a minute. But first and foremost, we got to take off the uh, original shoulder stock and grips. Now, when you buy your Notos, the Notos does not have this installed. It's four screws, two on either side, and of course, the reverse process to uh, undo that. Then we're going to go ahead and take off the frame for the grip. And inside of this frame, this frame also contains the trigger mechanism. Uh, so two screws, pop that off. Be careful, there is a little spring in there. Uh, so you don't want to lose that. And then on the grip itself, you'll notice there's a side plate. Well, there's a couple of screws there you're going to use a very small Allen key for. Take those out, pop the side right on off. And there's the trigger mechanism, just two pieces and two sear pins or push pins in there. Uh, really, very simple system. You know, I always put my screws back in the grip so I don't lose them. But here's the new grip down below. Uh, I have to apologize, the camera angle was not great here. But you'll notice I'm pushing that in there. That trigger was a little bit of a tight fit. Had me concerned at first, but I went ahead and kept going. Put the sear in there. A couple of those push pins. I'm going to have to tap those in with a hammer. Uh, is this a real tight fit, uh, which I do appreciate because that means it's not going to fall out when I'm out hiking around the woods or what have you. And at the end, I was actually kind of impressed. That trigger felt just like the original, no problem. That tight fit was not not a worry at all. So great job, Buck Rail, on creating that. And uh, that frame goes right back on using the same two screws that you used to take the original off. Here in a second, you're going to see, I'm going to pause the video because I want to show you something. There it is. Yep. Right inside there, that big screw with the flat head in there, that's going to be the screw you can use to adjust the hammer spring tension to adjust the gun just right for whatever pellet that you might choose if you want to tune it. I was fine out of the box. I haven't messed with that at all yet. Here we are putting in the uh, foregrip. You'll notice those three brass inserts. That is a 3D printed item. And those brass inserts really help to hold everything together so you're not going to strip the screws out and it keeps it nice and tight in there. You'll also notice on that foregrip that it is ready to uh, receive some M-lock uh, accessories, whatever you want to put in there. So that's really cool too. I like that upgrade. Great job again, Buck Rail. New buffer tube and we're screwing that into the UTG folding stock adapter. Get that in there, set, yep. And here's one place that it might require you to pick up a new tool. This is for a castle nut. That castle nut screws right in there. It's a round nut, uh, similar to like AR-15 styles. And that slides in there and tightens right up against the, for the frame there. Nice and tight. You can see the old versus the new a little bit. We'll compare those again here in a minute. Finally, the last major piece is that new grip. Get that on there. You can see the box to the left there. It's made by Magpul. Again, these all these pieces and parts can be ordered off the Buck Rail website. I'm loving it, digging that thing. Look at that. Um, feels really good in my hands. Love the adjustability. I uh, almost forgot the cheek riser though. That cheek riser is going to be important because a lot of us have medium to high rings. That's going to allow your eyesight to match up with those medium or high rings. Now, if you have low rings, you probably won't need the cheek riser, but otherwise it will be good. And I love how small that is when it's all folded up. Also, the um, UTG adapter there is really tight, so you don't get a lot of slop in that. Go ahead and add some M-Lock rails. Now these rails are, again, 3D printed from Buck Rail. You can order those when you order everything together. 
not bad kind of give you some different uh, options there and the bottom one for a bipod of course and then the side ones i don't know maybe flashlight or whatever other accessory you might want to put on there you could even put on like an fx chronograph uh reader so you can get those numbers and you know get everything just right there in front of you really digging it get the other one on the other side so it matches now something you might want to do uh, before you decide to put this all together you can always seracote the new pieces and parts to uh, match whatever color you want uh, i've seen some that have been desert tan and those look really really sharp all right let's take a look at the old pieces to the new there's the rear stock you'll notice the length of pull of the new one is just slightly longer than the original yeah there we go and of course that pistol grip is slanted slightly more forward than the original all right so it's all built ready to go hopefully you enjoyed that uh, and saw it was really easy to set up and something you can do at home pretty easily uh, i have it down here now at the range we got the folding stock on here you notice i've attached a bipod you're not going to do that with your regular no toes and i've got some targets down there at 25 yards let's see how the trigger system feels let's see how the whole setup feels now that i've got it installed we're going to go ahead i'm going to put some pellets in here i'm shooting the 22 caliber 18.13 grain jsbs and again i am shooting off you hear my camera in the background i'm shooting off a stooky bench this thing is super stable if you haven't watched that i'm going to put a link to that video above and then you'll also notice i'm shooting with my tracked optics so as you look through this as you watch the camera scope through camera you're going to notice how crystal clear those images are and that i attribute to just how good this scope is so again another review out there of the tracked optics scope but hey if you're enjoying this make sure you hit that subscribe button let's go ahead go down range 25 yards i've got the rx target system down there and i'm shooting some pigs just for fun see what we got let's go ahead and turn this back on you heard the camera turn off camera system's back on got the scope cam let's go ahead and knock these guys down let's see here we go here piggy 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 where are you there we go let's see what we got there's one boom two three four and five you guys saw that this is why i think this is a great little hunting gun especially if you're hunting squirrels you're not going to be shooting squirrels hopefully at like 50 60 70 80 yards uh, you're going to be shooting them up at the trees probably 25 30 maybe 20 yards out this gun is really sweet now the only thing the only thing i have to say about the buck rail system and this is it because I love it otherwise. This grip up here is really, really nice and it feels good in your hand. It doesn't move around in your hand. But when I put it on a bipod, I do notice just a little bit of play back and forth. Now, beyond that, though, I really love it. So, guys, go check out buckrail.com. We'll put a link down below. Until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, those pellets fly straight. Go out and have some fun, and we'll see you again next time right here on the Airgun Advisor.